Anybody have any questions about that? Do you believe that all things that Jesus said to the disciples or people were commands? For everybody? Or were, were some of them requests? I don't know. I just think we need to focus on the ones that are very clear. Because mm -hmm. I think the request was go get the donkey, you know, go yeah. prepare the Lord's Supper. Yeah, so I don't know that that was for every believer. But there are commands that are very crystal clear. And what the believers were doing at Pentecost were the main things that Jesus said to do. They were doing basically everything Jesus said to do. This list is basically the basic commands that we're going to be teaching people. Everybody stand up, and then we'll take a break. We're going to do the Lord's, we're going to do the Jesus commands. You ready? Uh, hold out your right hand and say repent. Believe the good news. Receive the Holy Spirit. Our number one has two parts. What is it? Repent. 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 Believe, Believe the good news. Good news. What's number two? Receive, Receive, Receive the Holy Ghost. Holy Say Holy Ghost. Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. Get weird about it, you know? <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, and then number three is what? Be baptized. Oh, yeah. Be baptized. Everybody go down the water. Be baptized. Yes. All right. And then do Lord's Supper. Lord's Obey the Lord's Supper. Supper. And the greatest commandment Jesus said when they asked him? Love, love God. God. Love God. You know? This one has three parts. Love, love God, God. Love your family and your friends. Your family, your friends. But if you love your friends, so what? you got to love these people. That's hard. Just love these people, right? All right, what's number one? It has two parts. Repent. Repent. Believe. What is this? What is this? What is the good news? Remember that part? That Jesus died for us. Yeah. Jesus died on the cross. So that's what that means. But there's more to that than just that. So repent. Believe the good news. Receive the Holy Spirit power. And then be baptized. And then uh, what's another? There's two ceremonies. Keep those ceremonies together. Oh. There's a baptism, and then there's Lord's, Lord's, Lord's Supper. Lord's Supper. Lord's Make the Lord's Supper. Lord's the greatest, the greatest commandment is love God, love God, God your family, your friends, 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 and even your enemies. enemies. When I do this with your kids, they love it. They just love it. <laughs> and the Filipinos, they like it too. So, and then love, and then every day, pray, pray. in the name of Jesus. Buddha, Jesus. in the name of Muhammad, Jesus. why do you talk in the name of Jesus? Because he's listening. <laughs> he's alive. Because he is risen from the dead and he's Lord, right? All right? Pray every day in the name of Jesus and then. What if you ain't got no money? Share. I'm excused from that, Jesus. I don't have any money. No. Give. Give. Something. may not be money. Yeah. Give something. And Jesus does not want us to give like this. He wants you to give like this lady yeah, did. Joy. 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 <laughs> he wants you to give like this. Why? Is that important? Are they said this? Huh? He wants you to give. He wants you to give with a smile. With a smile. Not with a frown. Yeah. From the heart. All right, what's number one? Repent. Repent. Repent and believe. Repent and believe. That's Mark chapter 1, verse 15. And then receive the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. That's John chapter 20, verse 22. Be baptized. That's Matthew chapter 28. All right. And then take the Lord's Supper. Where's that found? Matthew chapter 26, verse 26. 26, 26. That was easy. All right. The greatest one is what? Love, love God. God. Love God. Your family and friends. And friends. And even your enemies. And then pray. Every day. How do you have love for your enemies? You pray. <laughs> And then you're supposed to, Jesus said, if you want to heap burning coals on your enemies, what do you do? Give you give. Yeah, yeah, give to them. <laughs> you pray for your enemies, and then you give. And then you take up your cross and be willing to suffer for Jesus. Because Jesus said, if you take up your cross and follow me, you're my disciples. And you cannot be my disciples unless you take up your cross, take up your cross and, follow, and be willing to suffer for Jesus. That's a command that kind of balances it up. I got, I got one of those out of order. All right, the next one is heal the sick, heal the sick. Heal the sick. Heal the sick. Heal the sick. raise the dead, raise the dead. 
demons. Cast out demons. Cast out demons. Cast out demons. Have you ever met a demon? Mm -hmm. I'm sure I have. I have. Yeah. In the Philippines. Yeah. I met a Filipino demon. I said, I don't believe in you. And he just laughed at me. He convinced me he was real. <laughs> <laughs> so, heal the sick. Raise the dead. You ever seen anybody raised from the dead? No. How many people have you prayed over to come back to life? Yeah. yeah. Well, I have <laughs> and cast out demons. All right. It's a command, right? All right, what's number one? Repent. Repent. Believe the good news. Believe the good news. Receive the Holy Spirit. Be baptized. Be baptized. Two ceremonies. Practice, Practice the Lord's, Lord's Supper. Supper. The greatest one is? Love, love God, love your family and friends, friends, and your enemies. And you can't do that without praying. Pray. Pray. Every day, in the name of Jesus. You give. You give. give. And then you take up your and cross. Your cross. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out demons. And, and how do you do this? You do this by going and making disciples of all nations. Everybody say, go, go. go. make disciples. Make disciples. All right, when we come back from break, we're going to test everybody. See if you remember. <laughs>